um, this is the energy vibration lazing for the um <laughs> for the second quarter of the year this is for the month of uh, april may and june okay this is going to be um very strange very weird but um it's um the energy that is happening for you guys because this quarter is going to be a very weird quarter for you guys there's a lot of stuff and a lot of conflicts with relationship and that sort of a thing that is going to come in and the energy of this quarter is the energy of movement okay it is the energy of the chariot okay so this quarter is the energy of the quarter for the general energies and for you guys you have the energy of the fool so thank God for that because in this quarter you guys in the general energies did not have any supporting energies okay and when I said not having any supporting energies there was no uh, none of the months in that quarter has an uh, air energy where um, you had balance so what is transpiring here is that you have your own energy vibration that is going to carry you through the squad till you um, you Aquarians and this is going to be good because then you're balancing so there's movement um, movement you're you're moving um, it's, 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 it's the energy of movement you're going on a journey you're moving forward on a journey and this is going to be a positive new journeys that you Aquarians are about to, to take what is so good and I saw it in the general energies and I saw this coming back in your energies is that the general energies has the energy vibration of uh, um, the chariot the Empress and the Sun so um, it's a lot of movement that is transpiring um, and this movement you're going to be seeing coming up and a new beginning a new start for you which you're going to be branching out and you're going to be um, moving forward these three months is very important that you take a sense of this because in the first month you have the energy of the magician which is the energy of the magician is a Gemini energies okay and so you have a supporting help in um, the month of April month of April these are supporting help that is coming in because the energy of the magician is uh, um, you using your with an intellectual and you are um, resolving certain situations and coming out and looking at certain situation and solving situations it's like putting the puzzles together and this is the magician because the magician has four energies the magician use all the four energies so you are going to be going within and finding and finding this place to use your your wit but in a good way because if you use it in a bad way it's going to work against you so in the month of april you're going to find the inner strength to go in and make and do the right thing okay a month of may a wonderful month and i told everyone may is a lucky lucky month so um, this is a positive energies because you have the energy of the heart so you have a grounding energy and the world and the energy of the world is your ending a situation because the spirit is all about movement the spirit is all about moving making changes in your life and um, in May because men May is a lucky month and you um, guys have the number 21 in May um, the world energy is a positive energy because it's the accumulation and the ending of a situation and the new situation is coming up so new positive energies are coming up and this is very very wonderful so there is going to be coming in balance in the month of May for you and it's going to be a very positive balance in the month of June there is going to be changes movement some of you will be changing work some of you will be moving some of you will be going on vacation but this period is all about transition the spirit is all about overcoming obstacles but yet still moving forward in a transition way and this is good because you're seeing that a lot of people who are looking for new houses new places there's a lot of changes people are going on vacation people are looking for new jobs people are um, starting new projects people are, are moving up because I can see that there are certain things in certain people and certain aspect that is going to be affecting your life in this period okay 
we're going to look at the upbuilt and see what is going to be the outcomes for you guys in this spirit because you have the energy of the fool energy of the fool is always going on a new journey which is um, absolutely and a very very wonderful so let's look and see what is adjoining um, April with May for you guys you have the energy of the nine of swords whatever is happening but this is a good energy for you guys because you are um, you're going to use the energy of this sword between April and May um, the transition and in this period there's a lot of situation that is going to um, come up and um, this is your energy vibration so it's going to be good because it's going to bring balance because with the the energy of the magician um, you're using the internal this is a communication the nine of swords is communication but communication um, can be verbal but yet still communication can be um, in the mind okay that's a thoughts and you're going to um, use the intuition because you're going to be working with your intuition with all these information that is coming through and use um, communication um, to um, work out stuff in a month of May going on into June you have the energy of the king of swords so a nine of swords kings of swords so this is good for you um, Aries uh, Aquarius I'm sorry if I keep on saying Aries this is good for you Aquarius because the um, earth the the air energies are coming in to balance you guys out because there was no supporting energy of the air energy so you um, Aquarian men will be ending something and moving on a new journey we are going to look at what will you be ending and what will you be moving on to and we are going to go deeper to find out what is going to transpire how is this going to be working out for you in the long run because a lot of you men over the age of 40 will be deciding to leave a situation behind and move forward to something that is much better so let's look at whatever energy is coming out here your outcomes is going to be the queen of cups okay your outcomes is going to be the queen of cups the outcomes is going to be the queen of cups so whatever the situation whatever that was happening the outcomes is the queen of cups and we're going to be looking um to see what is the outcomes with this queen of cups what is happening and how this have because the energy of the queen of cups is here she's trying to nurture in herself so whatever the situation is and whatever that has been transpiring um, whatever that um, took place um, the energy and, and, and what it is saying is that you need to look inwards you need to look inwards it's as if um, this situation um, you need to really look inwards as to whatever that has happened and, and whatever that has transpired you have um, the outcomes as the Queen of Cups so what is going to happen um, when an outcomes as the Queen of Cups comes in and um, as I'm looking at this we're seeing the energy of the magician so what it is saying is that you have you basically have what it takes to make whatever happen in your life and you just need um, to look at it because you have you have no need to worry about um, um, a, a lot of situation because you can still use what you have um, and, and, and come out on a good note um, when we we're looking there is the whip the woman and um, some of you men over the age of 40 are having a situation with the Queen of Cups okay whoever this Queen of Cups is it is someone who's a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion or you're deciding to walk away from this situation okay so whoever this Queen of Cups is you're deciding to walk away from the situation you're using your sword and you're cutting away your you're deciding to turn your back and walk away from sitting this situation and you're moving you want to move forward in your life okay so it's, it's a situation as if some of you were just you know looking backwards at things in your life and you need to now look forward because you have been dealing with a situation um, with this person whoever the Queen of cups with his you have been dealing with a situation with that person and now you need to look forward and you need to leave the situation behind and move forward 
let's see what is happening with the energies of the magician and the world the energy of the magician and the world there is a situation where there is opposition that is taking place you guys have a lot of sword energy that is going to help you because you have the nine of sword and the seven of sword this is good for you guys please this seven of sword energy can be that you found out that someone tried to take disadvantage of a situation and that sort of a thing and you need to be aware of this and um, um, be aware of whatever that has um, happened then as we look at at the ending of a situation and you decide to move on there is a situation that is ending and you decide to move on um, new love is going to come in and a lot of help is going to be coming in and, and you know new love is going to come in and a lot of help is going to be coming in so um, whatever the situation that has transpired and whatever that has happened um, there is new love that is coming in and with this new love that is coming in there is going to bring a, um, a situation that was a, a, you know like it was a bit on balance whatever that has happened is as if some of you have lost something some of you have lost a love um, um, and now there is going to be a transition new love is going to be coming in for you we're looking at the situation with the nine of swords and I'm so happy that so many swords and it just came in for you um, Aquarians because you really needed that so the Aquarian men's over, over the age of 40 there is a lot of worries and a lot of communication and a lot of worries that is coming in whatever the situation is is as if you feel as if you're in hardship okay you feel as if you're in hardship um, and this is why you decide to leave this situation you decide to leave this situation that has to deal with the Queen of Cups because it's as if you realize that this situation is not bringing you the fulfillment what is happening so you men over the age of 40 it can it can has the energy for the ladies whatever is happening whatever is transpiring um, it can happen to the energies of the ladies um, that uh, you know you men have decided you know this person have have me or have gotten me in this gotten I've got me in the situation and now you know this is bringing me to a position that I don't need to be in my life so what you're going to do is that um, this uh, situation is as if this lady has bring you in some real hardship and that sort of a thing and you are going to try to bring yourself out so let's see what is going if there's going to be a transition for the hardship that is coming up yes yeah, the four of cups okay so whatever the hardship was um, that you men are going to have you have the four of cups then you have the three of ones where you're leaving the situation behind and then you have the two of Pentacles so it's as if um, whatever the situation is um, you have a situation where um, you you have a situation where um, you had to deal with a situation okay because you felt as if you are in hardship now you ha you had to deal with a situation and you have the energy of the four of cups so it's as if you had planned um, your way to deal with a situation and then all of a sudden um, just some sort of an energy started to transit over um, what you were doing so you're trying to like leave the situation because it is as if um, this situation has cost you so much and this is what I'm seeing coming in that whatever the situation was whatever that you had to deal with it has cost you a lot and what you are deciding on doing is saying you know I'm I'm just leaving this I'm just I'm just really really just leaving this behind and I'm moving forward because it's as if um, it's not um, it's, it's, it's not um, you know it, it's, it's as if the situation is not bringing out anything that is positive in your life okay so we're moving on and we're looking and we're seeing you have the energy of the number nine the energy of the number nine is allowance so 
sometimes we try to push things and you need to let it be let it be so that whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you need to let it go so that you can see whatever is happening whatever changes that is happening um, what is taking place one what um, you know it's as if you can't push anything so you need to have this present of allowance the frequency of allowance invite us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment without options without fear and without resistance when we all allow the universe to become our partner in this wondrous dance of experience and expression um, you will have positive positive energies coming up okay and this is it this is the energy of allowance you can always stop this video and then um look at this video and um it this is an um the awakening the um awakening of um your um your chakras okay it is the awakening of your chakras next message that we have is that you need to work on your 12 chakras so what you can do is call upon the angels and guides and say I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras um, I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras and ask the angels to sing over me so that my chakras will vibrate in a fifth dimension frequency it is so and it will be it is just very easy so as we you know as you move on he says I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras and I'm asking the angels to sing over me so that my chakras will vibrate in a fifth dimension frequency and know that this is going to be happening for you okay so um as usual as usual i have changed up um the way i do the readings so um we are going to be looking at the love energies okay we're going to look at love energies we're going to start with the ladies um, 40 and over to see what is the love message that is coming for you ladies um, the energy of the ladies 40 and over you have the four of cups that is happening um, then you have the five of wands and then you have the eight of cups so some of you ladies will be walking away from a relationships um, so let's um, look at this look at what is happening um, so some of you ladies so this love reading is for the ladies um, if you're 40 years and older and you are a yeah of course because this is huh? the Aquarians reading um, some of you had some regrets some of you have some regrets about something that happened and there is a conflicts and you're going to decide to walk away okay so you ladies over 40 some of you had regrets over something that happened and um, you are having some conflicts and you're going to decide to walk away for good okay whatever the situation is uh, um, you ladies whatever the conflicts was you are going to decide to just walk away for good okay because it's as if the conflicts that happen it has something to do with a decision that you have made in the past and you are going to be walking away from this decision let's look and see for the men um, above the age of 40 what is here for um, the <laughs> I've been having this all day not to worry uh, in a strength you men over 40 uh, needs to find in a strength with your relationship um, you guys are going to have a karmatic situation to deal with but yet still um, this is going to be coming out you you have to find the inner strength uh, whatever this is you have to find the inner strength okay so for the men over 40 um, men over 40 um, in your relationship what is happening and what is transpiring is that you need to find inner strength 
some of you need to find the inner strength to deal with whatever you're dealing with in your relationship because most of you are in a karmatic relationship so for you men who are having problems at this moment you are having um, a situation um, with a relationship and this is a karmatic situation that is happening and that has transpired because whatever the situation is and whatever that has transpired you are seeing this being worked out because whatever that um, as a transpired it is a karmatic situation okay but you're going to be just you justice is going to be coming in for you guys which meaning that you're going to be able to cope and deal with the situation because obviously you're seeing whatever is happening there's going to be a new start for some of you also so for um, the um, younger people between the ages of 18 and uh, 18 and 30 for the younger people between the ages of 18 and, uh, and yeah 40 18 to 40 um, we're going to look at your energies to see what is coming in and you're going to be on a, a new journey um, then you're going to meet someone new and it's going to be um, good because you're finally seeing a situation of something okay so for the men and women um, 18 to 40 what is going to transpire is that you are going to leave a situation behind um, um, it, this could be um, a relationship that isn't working out for you or hasn't been working out some of you are going to do, just decide to just leave the relationship behind and move forward and by doing that you're going to be connecting with someone and this is going to be good because um, you're going to find a soulmate coming in for you um, this is a soulmate some of you are um, you know decide to move further and, and on a better journey and um, there unexpectedly you're going to meet someone and you're going to end up marrying them so this is going to be good okay um, in the reverse of this reading and this energy is that some of you could be leaving and turning your back on a relationship and ending this relationship divorcing and saying you know I'm I prefer to end this relationship and move away from this relationship so this reading is going um, both positive and negative and the positive side is that some of you who decided and this is like for a lot of you um, single people you're going to be um, you know unexpectedly meeting someone who's a soulmate unexpectedly meeting someone who's a soulmate and this is going to be good some of you are going to end up marrying but on the reverse side what is going to happen is that some of you are going to decide to leave a relationship behind and get a divorce so these are all playing out so it depends on who you are and what are you experiencing in your life um, some of you are going to leave an Aquarius divorce from Aquarius because you're moving forward and the energy of the full moving forward and Aquarius some people are going to be meeting a Taurus or a, a Taurus and this is also going to be good so these are wonderful situation that is coming up for you guys so it's going to be good so um, again um, you know this is I change up a lot of situation is going to a lot of people are going to see the clarity of situation that is going on around you okay so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back this is um, um, remember to listen to the Sun moon and rising sign of um, your finger and remember to listen to the general energies because you need to know what's happening with a general energy namaste until next time